Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to easily share your files across all your different devices using a simple website. This website's called Snapdrop and it allows you to share your files between all different platforms such as iOS, Android, macOS, Windows and more. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so sharing files can sometimes be a little bit clunky between your devices. Sometimes you're trying to use Bluetooth or you're trying to connect them in with a cable or things like that and it never seems to be super seamless. Now Apple does have a good answer to that and that's AirDrop um, and that works really well, um, especially for me who has a lot of Apple devices I use on a daily basis. I use AirDrop a heap uh, to share video files from my iPhone to my Mac and all that sort of stuff. It works really well. However, I do still use a lot of other devices in my day-to-day -day life, such as Androids and Windows computers, and sometimes even Linux. And AirDrop does not work on those because it is uh, on Apple devices only. So I had to find a good solution um, to be a alternative to AirDrop, um, but still have that same speed and security and quickness that AirDrop has. And I think I may have found the answer. So I'm going to share that, that with you today. Now, this website is called Snapdrop. So what you're going to do is, firstly, I'm going to demonstrate how this works. So in my photo gallery, I've got a thumbnail from a recent video of mine uh, for the new features in iOS 16. It just looks like this. And I'm going to demonstrate how to share that between all your different devices. And then at the end, I'll also show you how it works on a computer. So we're gonna give this a bit of a go here. So what you need to do is, firstly, I'm going to demonstrate um, sharing it to this other iPhone, which is an iPhone 6S here. And on both the devices, you need to open up your web browser, in this case, I'm using Safari, and go to snapdrop.net. So snapdrop here, and I'll go on to that on both devices. Snapdrop.net. And you'll see straight away, it loads the website. Now here you can see that it is already found the two devices on the network. Now it will give you a random name by default. So to sealed, uh, assign my iPhone 11 as Teal Viper, and then this iPhone 6S is some other name here as well, Magenta, MOS, I can't see the rest of the name here, but it's just random names that assigned your devices on the network. And it also says here you are known, it shows you what name you're known as, and it says you can be discovered by everyone on this network. So if you're on the same Wi-Fi network, this will work. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and share this file. So if I click on the other iPhone here, I'm then going to say I can either choose an existing photo, take a photo or video, or choose files. Now I'm just going to choose from my photo library, so I'll click on that here. And then once you click on that, it will bring up a window that shows you all your items that you have to choose from. So I've just zoomed in a bit so here so you can see, and you can also choose your albums up the top. But by default, it's on photos. And then I'm just going to select the thumbnail I want to share. And then I'm going to click add in the top right hand corner here. And as soon as I click add, almost instantly on the iPhone success, you can see it says file received. And it shows you the name of the file and it shows you the picture of it. And then you've got a few options. You can um, choose whether it asks to save each file before downloading in the future. Um, and you can choose whether it ignores the file or whether you want to save it. So I'm gonna save it here. And then you'll hear a little noise that says, do you want to download that image? So I'm just gonna click download here. And then you'll see it downloads into the phone. So if I now click on the download section of this device, you'll then see it's shown up here. So if I click that, it then opens the file. Now that's saved to this iPhone now, but what I can do um, from here on is click the share button. And if I want it to show in my, um, in my photo gallery, then I can just click save image and it will save the image to my photo gallery. So now if I go to photos here, I can see that the photo has now shown up in my image gallery and you can see it's all there in its full high resolution here 
of the image. So that is really good. Um, super quick and easy to share it there. And I'm gonna do one more quick demonstration. So I've now shown how to do it on uh, iPhone to iPhone, and now I'm going to show you it in action on iPhone to Android. So it's a similar situation here. What we need to do is I'm going to refresh the page on the iPhone here, uh, just so it reloads. And then I'm going to go to my internet browser on the Android and type in snapdrop.net. There you go, snapdrop.net. It opens up and then you'll see it's showing all the devices on the network, including the iPhone 11 I demonstrated earlier. So now on here on the iOS device, I can just go and click on the Android device, which I want to um, share the file to once again. Um, it's assigned a name and I can see it's the Android device because it has the Android and model number there. So then once I click that, it'll ask whether I want it from the photo library, take a photo or video or browse. I'm just gonna go to the photo library here and then you'll see that my thumbnail has shown up here, the one that I sent from the iPhone 11 to this phone just earlier. So now if I click on that, I can then go and click add uh, in the top right hand corner once again and then almost instantly on the Android, you'll see that it says file received again. And then I can just click save. It says starting download. And then the download is complete. And then I can open the file here. And you'll see it now says new features in iOS 16. And that will now be added to the Photos app on this device. And once again, we've got the full image here. Uh, and it looks really good. So you don't lose any quality um, in this process really. So that works really well um, between all these devices here. And now what I'm going to do is show one more example of how it works on the, when transferring files between a phone and a computer or computer and computer. So I'm just gonna do a quick demo. I'm gonna flick over to a screen recording now where I show how it works on the computer and sharing that same thumbnail from my phone to my computer just to do one last demonstration and then we'll wrap up the video. All right, so now we're on the screen recording on the computer. Now, today for this video, I've chosen Mac OS just because it was the easiest device I could access um, for recording. However, as I mentioned earlier, this will work on all other Windows and Linux devices as well. So it's pretty seamless on all your devices and it's the same process as it's all just done in the web browser. So it doesn't really matter what operating system you're on. So what we're gonna do is copy the same process as I've done a few times before on the camera. So we're gonna to go to the web browser. In this case, I'm using Safari. And then we're going to go to snapdrop.net. You can see it's already been recommended uh, in the results here. And then when I open it, it says, open Snapdrop on other devices to send files. So what we're gonna do now is I've got my iPhone here and we're gonna go back to Safari and type in snapdrop.net. And we've opened it up here and you can see instantly it shows both devices on the network here. And what I can do is it's the exact same process as before, but this time I'm going to share a file from the Mac to the phone. So what we're going to do is click on my iOS device here. So I'm going to click that there and then it asks for a file to upload. So today I'm just going to upload the Mac OS Ventura wallpaper. Um, as that's what I've got on this user here. And then I'm gonna click upload. It'll take a moment here because this is a slightly bigger file than the thumbnail I was sending before. And then you'll see on the phone, it comes up with file received and I can just save it. And then I can click download. And we'll give it a moment here. And then it opens up the files up on my iPhone with the Mac OS Ventura wallpaper on it. So that's just been shared. And then once again, if I want that to save to my photos, I can just click the share button and then click save image and it will save to my photo library. So that was super seamless. Once again, it um, has sent the file super quickly and it works really easily. So uh, you can see that it's picking up some other devices on the network that I used earlier as well, which is um, quite interesting. I've still got the iPhone 6S here, so it's probably picking up that one. All right, so now that I've demonstrated how Snapdrop works on the computer, that's the same process from computer to computer or computer to phone or phone to computer, any different uh, connection you have, that will all work the same way. So hopefully that's given you a good understanding. And now I'm going to switch back to the camera recording 
where I'm going to wrap up the video and talk about my final thoughts about Snapdrop and how it works and whether you should use it as well. So I'll switch over to that now. So yeah, that's a super quick and easy process of how you can use Snapdrop to easily share files between all your devices on all different platforms. And it's so seamless and so quick. It's almost as good as AirDrop natively on Apple devices. So I'm really happy um, with how this works and hopefully um, you'll get a lot of use out of this as well and you really enjoy the usage of it um, and it's really helpful in your workflow because it's certainly been a massive help to me. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Let me know in the comments below if you've used Snapdrop before and how your experience is when you give it a go. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback down in the comments below. Hopefully you've had some great success with this tutorial as well and it's really helpful in your workflow just as much as it is in mine. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.